Math 082 Final Exam Review Packet Problems 1, 2, 3, and 4. Let's evaluate this expression. C equals negative 4. We have 28 divided by negative 4. Bring down the minus sign. X equals 7. Substitutes in right there. 35 divided by 7. Bring down the minus sign. Y equals 11. That goes here on the end. So we have 28 divided by negative 4. That is negative 7 minus 35 divided by 7 is 5 minus 11. Negative 7 minus 5 is negative 12. Take away 11 more, we get our answer negative 23. Let's check that. And you can see right here, number one. Let's look at problem number two. X equals negative six. We have negative six divided by 12. Bring down the minus sign. Y equals negative 35. In the numerator, we have negative 35. The denominator, five. Bring down the plus sign. Z equals one half. First, let's address this subtraction of a negative. Subtraction of a negative is equivalent to addition. So we have a negative 6 twelfths plus 35 divided by 5 plus 1 half. Negative 6 twelfths is the same as negative 1 half plus 35 divided by 5 is 7 plus 1 half. Now negative 1 half and positive 1 half, those opposites add up to 0. So we have 0 plus 7. Our answer is 7. Let's check that. All right, let's move on to problem number 3. A is negative 5. That'll go right here. And B is 13. That'll slide right in there. So we have parentheses, a negative sign. And here's where we fill in our 13. Minus 2 times A. And a is negative 5. Close parentheses squared minus 3 times. The value of c is negative 7. This is what we must evaluate. We start inside the parentheses. Negative 2 times negative 5 is positive 10. So we have negative 13 plus 10 quantity squared. Negative 13 plus 10 is negative 3. Negative 3 quantity squared minus 3 times negative 7. Negative 3 squared means negative 3 times negative 3. That's positive 9. And then negative 3 times negative 7 is how we can consider this. That's positive 21. We get our answer of 30. Let's check that. Now we're on to problem number 4. B is negative 7, and A is 5. So we'll start off with, open parentheses, negative 7 plus 3 times 5, close parentheses squared, and then minus 3 times C squared, where C is negative 1. Inside the first set of parentheses, we will multiply first. 3 times 5 is 15. We have negative 7 plus 15 quantity squared minus 3 times negative 1 squared. Negative 7 plus 15 is 8. 8 squared minus 3 times negative 1 squared. 8 times 8 is 64 minus 3 times negative 1 times negative 1 is positive 1. We have 64 minus 3 times 1, 64 minus 3, we get 61 as our answer. Let's check that. 